Welcome back. In this episode I'm going to look at the split filter. By putting an audio signal into both of these, we can split the filter into odd and even. Odd and even. In the past we've just been putting an audio signal into one side of these uh, signal inputs. Uh, by putting one in, it's normalized to the other, so you're actually it's being sent to both. But Today we're going to look at splitting those up. However, I'm just going to start with um, flat white noise in both of them. So into the odd and into the even. And the outputs are up here, odd and even. If I take the odd out and go to a mixer, we hear nothing, just like we've been doing in the past. I have this now set to A levels, um, and that's going to be our odd levels. Uh, this is white noise, so if I touch the even numbers, bring those volumes up on those bandwidths, we hear nothing. But if I do the odd ones, So that's what odd white noise sounds like. And likewise, if we take even out and go into another channel and go to B, but if I touch the odd bandwidths, we hear nothing. But if I touch the even ones, we get to hear even noise. And of course we can morph between them. Oops. Odd, even. I've now taken that same white noise patch, but routed it through the 292E Quad Dynamics Manager and onto the 206 mixer so that we can sculpt some of this odd and even white noise with envelopes from the 281E. Let's just take a quick listen. There's our white noise patch. And let's see what happens now if we use a tone instead of a, an unpitched noise. Okay, now turning the volumes down on that so that we can now use envelopes going into the 292. Uh, let's take a, a pulsing envelope. And, of course, we have nothing coming out of the B side yet. But we can use that same CV to morph or synchronize both sides and need to change this. There's the B side and the A side, so odd and even. Odd, even. And we can use a third envelope to morph between them. And get some sort of delay effects. 
Further, the beauty about having odd and even is you could, of course, pan them to left and right, separate channels, um, and you're getting two different sounds for the price of one, basically. Uh, if we take, the, if we clock divide the 281 and bring it down instead to a different section, use that output, pulse output, to then trigger the B section. We can uh, have them synchronized. If this is in sync, but as I change the C section here, we can actually get a backbeat going or an offbeat. And we can then use various CVs to get different variations on those two sounds. Well, let's try that too. And finally, that's using the exact same sound going into both sides, odd and even. What if I take a new sound uh, for the even coming out of a different oscillator. Let's see. There's our new sounds. Let a try. Okay. So lots of different possible accent rhythms. You're basically getting two sounds for the price of one, or in this case, two, but everything prior to this was the same sound, just being divided into odd and even. Okay.